welcome to day 14 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. We are just making our way through it. Maybe you've been feeling really, really good throughout this. Maybe you've kind of hit your little lull bump in the road. Um, and maybe you're just like, well, I fell off like four days in a row, but you're back at it. So we're so excited. Um, and this portion is what we call like taking part of that, the first 15. So we're we'll spending some, mm -hmm. some time, uh, five minutes in prayer, five minutes in the word, five minutes, maybe listen to some music. Um, I have had brain fog and I've called it the five minutes of fasting, which you're welcome. <laughs> some people would absolutely love that. So I'm just going to keep that in my back pocket for future use. But I have my absolute favorite hype woman. Scripture girl. Yeah, scripture girl. Scripture girl. So <laughs> we're going to talk about our prayer focus today. And um, uh, mm -hmm. we are talking about uh, asking God to make his presence and power known in our marriages and our relationships and that God would continue to conform us in the image of his son being a selfless servant. Um, and uh, Tracy, what you got for us this morning? Okay, I am reading Romans 12, 2, and it goes, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed right on by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and, to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Yeah. And he, uh, I like that. What do you like about it? I like it because... It's telling you not to be what the world wants you mm -hmm. to be. Be, stay faith, keep your faith in God. Yeah. That will take you where you should be, where you want to be. And it's almost like it eases all of the stress because once you become in his will, all those things that we have that, you know, those natural things, anxiety and worry mm -hmm. and concern and all that, they just kind of. Oh, fade away. Yeah, absolutely. So. Even thinking about like, you know, my own marriage where um, Derek and I are not like fighting against each other. Sometimes I call it like fighting the world of things right. that are happening, but we can use that scripture to like press pause, talk about getting our mind right and how I show up of like even still serving him in, in marriage or in our relationship right. too. So that way um, we can focus on those things. And and also too, like as we're, we're praying through marriages and relationships that we're praying for those marriages and relationships that might be having some trouble, but we're um, really lifting them up in prayer too. We're not always behind the scenes on things too, right. but just like continually lifting it up and not doing things that have been like, hey girl, we got to pray for this marriage over here because right. I got this going on. But like we're in our prayer closets, our prayer moments and really lifting up the relationships that are struggling. So that way that we can I call it like slather them in prayer. We right, on a them. continual basis. Yes. Not just, oh, yes. let's pray for you today. Hope it works out. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of prayers. <laughs> Lots of prayers. It's my T's and P's. That's what I call it. I mean, we say that on, on Those are my media. initials. TP. Yes. Th th thoughts and prayers. So Miss Tracy. Thoughts and prayer girls. Either. But um, yeah, let me just, uh, if, if uh, we'll just pray for marriages and relationships this morning, that way you just be, uh, have a constant renewal of our mind and uh, then prep for what's to come next. But Heavenly Father, we just thank you for, we thank you for your word. God, I'm so thankful for an awesome person to sit, sit here and uh, just have fun, but also read your word, spend some time together and think about how we can um, pray for marriages and relationships. God, that you would just renew our minds, that we would um see those feelings that we're having when we're feeling anxious and we're, we have worries and stresses that we could take those. We also turn them towards you that we acknowledge where we're at, but we turn them towards you so we can focus on what you have for us so that you can renew us. And we are strengthened through that. So I pray all this in your mighty and holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thank you Great so job, much for, Kyle. well, thank you. Well, Thanks welcome. so much for joining us. Um, if you're sharing this on social media, like comment, share, we're just asking for that. So that way others can join along too, and just see what God has in store for them. So that's right. what's most exciting about it. And we then, don't want to be the only one at the party. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very early party. <laughs> but tune in tomorrow for day. What day is coming next? Uh, 15. 15. Woo!